Colin here with Up North Outdoors and today's video we are going to be showing you guys the progression of the Fomins since it was stock to how it is now in 10 minutes. This is a really bad idea! South so bright, list of for sale, yeah. 10 years old, man, look like hell. All my friends said don't, I replied, oh lord, it's an Air Force 50 on bed for. Stores my tools, can haul a load, but it drinks up gas, and now I'm broke. Well, I jacked it up, put on, lifted off road tires, and be logs on. Dude, it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? Does the mud, it wells the sand, it defines me. A statement if you ever think of sailing good luck American made and it's my truck Ford F-250 right here and today I'm doing a review on a 4 inch suspension lift kit that I got for it. Welcome to the first part of a hopefully long series of uh, transforming my truck here into uh, awesome hunting, fishing rig, just sweet truck. Everything bolted in there and it's the back is good to go other than well everything you got everything tightened up uh, that I installed on my truck uh, we got our tr all trailered up right now because we're gonna be bringing in to get a steering alignment uh, but I'm gonna show you guys what we installed in the front here these are the dual steering stabilizers these are made by Rough Country. Today, I'm going to be dealing with this rust problem I have here in my truck. So, put the new tires and rims on. It's pretty sick. And today, we're going to be installing these Anzo halo lights in my uh, Ford F-250. The light's off. It's not too dark in here, but... Guys, my new grill. I'm doing an exhaust video on my 96 Ford F-250 and then it moves on to the glass pack. And today I'm going to be putting on my new bumper. Put it on. The new steering sector because the... I snapped off the little arm or I can't remember the name of it that comes out of the steering sector and today we are unboxing and installing the jail audio uh, C2 Pro Axles they're 5x7s it's good today we're doing a front axle swap uh, we're going to be swap swapping out my front uh, twin traction beam axle with a Dana 60 straight axle so the axle's 
completely out now. Uh, so if you do get a straight axle, try to get the linkage with it. We weren't able to because the guy like sold the truck. Got the video that you guys have all been waiting for. Got my roll bar video. Just got her put in today. We've been working on this for probably a couple months now, making it, making it happen. We're putting in Dana 60 straight axle again, and the reason for that is my wheel bearings went completely out when I was driving. Wheel almost fell off and everything. It was bad. All my so we redid. All the races, bearings, seals, and then I also put new uh, hub lockers in too. Everything's been torqued. Got these in the mail today. Fix my problem. Be good. I'll tighten her up. It'll track better on the snow and ice as well ticket for being too high. I was only two inches too high. It is legal and it's attached. It's attached. It's 100% part of the bumper. Bumper here. It's been, even when I take all the bolts off, it's been like sealed on there so good. Hammer, hold the caps so they don't fly off, and give it a few smacks on each side. Tossing in a five inch shackle reversal kit it's made by Sky Manufacturing into this truck, and then I'm also gonna be lifting up the rear. They can make them out. Anyway, let's uh, get to putting this thing on. I don't think the camera does it justice. As much as it like so well, so I'm gonna put it on a different notch and make it so it'll be more forward, and also that way. Mine still got the 35s on it right now. It's uh now it's about 10 inch lift. Oh. Got the new tires and wheels on, so yeah. on the axle and then need to be able to pivot which then you create an arc and you're able to have travel with the lift bar. Some lift bars that I've built for my truck. Um, this is kind of what makes, this is what makes my truck safe running massive blocks like that. This is not good. Driving home yesterday. Truck started chooching white and bluish smoke. And there's oil splattered everywhere in my engine compartment. That's black. Compression test. One of my cylinders, it has like no compression. Like literally like no compression. You're here. Uh, me, Colin, and Ray are headed to the Twin Cities to pick up 5-9 Cummins. Yeah, in that video I showed us taking the front clip off, but for you guys, those of you that didn't. You see so much of the chassis, you see so much of like the frame and the springs and you see like the axles. And Soft from yesterday. Got most of this half. Yeah. All cleaned and painted. Didn't paint the transmission because that's aluminum anyway, but I power washed it and cleaned it all up. Make a gasket. Alright, so tighten all the bolts back up and transfer case is officially clocked. And then we got the cab on, and then we put, bolted up the clutch and brake pedal assembly 
from the parts truck in to this one. And I also, me and Travis, unbolted this floor piece from the parts truck that has the hole for my shifter. It's under all this crap, just all these, this Amazon kit that I got that came with a bunch of pipes and rubber fittings for $90. There's a $90 Amazon intercooler kit. An aluminum angle here, and then connected it onto this aluminum pipe here. And today we're gonna be firing up the Cummins for the first time, hopefully. My truck finally looks like a truck again. So yeah, I got the truck put back together for the most part. I got most of it put back together. It's either three or three and a half inch and then going to five inch pipe and it's just five inch pipe running all the way back to an axle dump. Let me know, I'm probably just gonna put this plate in. Oh my gosh. I think that legit, legit added 100 horsepower. I couldn't keep this thing on the dirt road. Every time I shifted gears, the back end slid out from under me. Hey guys, so that's basically the truck transformation so far. Next up is a new bed, fixing all the rust, and paint. Bless guys, thank you for watching my videos. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more truck content. That's not the only truck I got either. Uh, we do a lot of off-roading and truck builds with other trucks as well. We got a first-gen Cummins, a 6.9 Ford, the Fallmans, obviously. We got a Jeep we play around with. We've got Sherps we play around with. We got a lot of content, so definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. It took a long time to get all these clips together and edit it up, so please, all I ask is just for you to click that like button. Follow my link. Link in the description below. Follow my Instagram, up North Outdoors with a Z. God bless, guys. Thank you for watching.